the way.
That young woman is standing right on the edge of the cliff. I should check on her. doing stay back or I'll jump you aren't the first person to try and persuade me easy that is a long way down even for me it doesn't matter nothing matters anymore a scorpion took my husband's life there's nothing left for me now you could find the scorpion that killed him and kill it <laughs> are you mocking me or trying to be cruel hey <laughs> even bitter laughter is better than death why don't you step away from the ledge, huh? We can talk. I don't know what to say. Tell me of your husband. We used to come up here to watch the herons. Two of them built a nest together in that tree. We watched them bring fish for their young. We dreamed of our own children. And you are sad because you did not have any. You're not very good at this, Magi. You're not making me feel any better. There is no way to make you feel better. There is only tomorrow. And then the next day. One moment at a time. What you say is true. I just don't think I can face it. I want to show you something. I will return soon. Hey, try not to jump. There were some herons nearby. Down by that tree. I've got what I need. I should give the feather to the girl. Careful, it's steep. Now you are worrying about height? This is for you. A heron feather, why? It is a C1 ritual. Feathers mean a lot to us. Anubis will weigh all our hearts when we die against Ma'at's white feather. Yours, mine, our loved ones. I know what you're doing. This feather is for my afterlife. Your husband will meet you in the field of reeds when it is time. But it is not a place to rush to. He would want you to live now and be happy. Yes, you're right. He would. I should thank you for this gift. You can thank me by showing me the way down. All right, Magi, you win. This way. I'm sorry. I must seem childish to you. Ah, believe me. No. I understand your grief. That's why you knew what to say, isn't it? Did you lose someone too? Many have lost loved ones to the Ptolemies. Does it get better? It gets better. But you will never be the same. Yes, I already know that. What is your name? I am Tua'a. I am not from here. I come from Crocodilopolis. I am Baek, from Siwa. What are you doing in Soknopayo Nessos? You're from Siwa? I can tell. You're so nice. Your people are kind. I didn't want to waste my life sewing and weaving for my father. Then, I met my husband and we eloped. We didn't have much, but we were happy here. You could return to your family. They will miss you. You could be happy again. I can't go back to sewing carpets. Besides, my father will never look me in the face again. Few fathers would turn away the child they thought they had lost. Leopards! Bayek! 
Stay back.
the pursuit! How to get to the others? Clear off now! <laughs>
Corpses. This is blasphemy. Who did this? Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your Another nourishment. Another dead farmer whose family will now lose their land. They used to eat at the alms kitchen filthy. in the market. But soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they Must were bad. Must have the food stored visit. somewhere. I should have a look around. There are no signs of a plague on the body. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble. Food is rancid. It smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. The Lord of Waters may take our souls, but we will all rejoice in the field of reeds. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. Go! Oh! Oh! I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, oh, yes. Those are Greek farms. 
The Greeks pay lower taxes so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is free. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you are reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this! We could have worked this out! I'm not dying over this! Hold him off! Where are my men? They were just filthy beggars! Why do you care so much about them? No one will miss them! We can talk about this! I'm wealthy! I can pay you! Send you to the next life!